Hey guys, what's going on? It's Modern Lifestyle and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys five things that you could do when you're bored in either GTA 5 online or just single player. The game's been out for many years now, but I still really do enjoy playing it. But there are times where I just have no idea what to do in the game. So I compiled a list of five things for you guys that you could do when you're bored in GTA 5. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into number one. So starting us off with number one here is getting a helicopter flying up to Vinewood Hills, jumping out and trying to land in people's pools. So you're going to need a helicopter, obviously. Now, this does work better if you have two people, because if you're only one person, you're going to have to go get another helicopter every time you want to do this. So if you have two people, one could be the pilot and you guys could switch off so you don't have to constantly keep going and getting new helicopters. But it is actually really fun. I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this in the past and it kind of is quite challenging. You could challenge yourself by trying to land in the smaller, like miniature jacuzzis too you don't just only have to land in the pools so it is a nice little challenge obviously better if you have a friend to help you out with the helicopter or if you just have single player mods like I do also if you guys want me to show you guys how to download these mods that I have on here on your PC on GTA 5 let me know and I'll probably do a video on that because it is really useful when you just want to mess around in single player but overall really fun and kind of challenging and you could definitely get a little competition going with you and your friends or just see how many times you could do it in a row when you're by yourself so that's number one guys but let's go ahead and move on into number two now moving on into number two here is going around the whole entire map and trying to rob every single store without dying so obviously it would be probably nice if you had a Karen Kuruma or an insurgent for this but you could challenge yourself even more and just get a normal car you'll probably rack up a five star uh, one in level by the time you go all the way around the map now I know a lot of people already do this but I just want to throw it in here because it is pretty fun and if you're by yourself it's a little bit more challenging because you're the one that has to park the car go in the store rob the cashier and then come out but if you have two people you could have one sit in the car outside or kind of you know fend off the cops a little bit while the other one's inside getting the money so like I said either way you could do it single player or on multiplayer but overall it is really fun and it's pretty cool and challenging to see how many stores that you could actually rob before dying now moving on into number three here is faking a emergency landing with a plane so this is pretty fun some planes work better than others so you're gonna have to try some but in this video I had the Bezra out and it actually does pretty good so what I usually do is I fly to the height limit or somewhere close to it try to stall the engine or just turn it completely off and just glide and try to land in a place either at an airfield on the street wherever usually I try to emergency land near an airfield just in case I do crash I could just respawn and grab another plane but if you do decide to do it in the mountains it is a lot more challenging and it is a lot of fun but if you do crash then you're gonna be stuck in a random mountain and you're gonna have to walk all the way back to civilization or you're gonna have to spawn in a car if you're close enough to a road so it is pretty fun just seeing all the different places in the map where you could try to emergency land this you know put yourself in different scenarios challenge yourself and see what kind of crazy places you could land so definitely another fun thing to do but let's go ahead and move on into number four now moving on into number four here is just going on a realistic off-roading adventure now you could do this by yourself it is kind of more fun if you do have a couple friends with you you guys could kind of do a little bit of role playing pretend you're going camping but do some realistic off-roading I'm over here on the east side of the map this is probably my favorite place to off-road but it does make it a lot funner if you kind of go slower through these areas. So basically, you and your friends could pick a spot or just by yourself. You could pick a spot on the map, go to it, kind of just camp out there, just hang out, take some Snapmatic photos, drink some beers with your friends in the game, smoke some cigarettes, just kind of kick back and have a good time, take some cool photos. Now, this location right here is one of my favorite. I love just chilling by this pond. It's really isolated. It's on the edge of the map. And I don't see many people going off-roading over here. So it's really cool to just go on a little off-roading adventure take some snapmatics and just kind of relax so definitely something very fun but let's go ahead and move on into the fifth and final one here so here at the last one guys is just explore the ocean and just enjoy the coast of the game it's really cool just getting a dinghy some sort of boat um, probably a speedboat is better because you could go faster even a jet ski is good but you could go around the map you know take some snapmatics you'll probably see something that you've never seen before just take it slow just enjoy it now there's also a bunch of stuff that you could explore Explore underwater as well so if you have a rebreather then I would definitely go explore those sites if you guys want me to do a video on all the underwater things on this game let me know but I'm sure if you just Google search interesting stuff in GTA 5 online underwater you'll find 
tons of stuff. There's a sunken plane or a crash plane, a sunken boat. I believe there's actually a dead body. I don't know if that's just on single player, but if you are on single player, you do have to watch out for the shark that sometimes comes and attacks you. Now there's actually this really cool island just off the west side of the map. I'm sure everybody knows about it by now, but if you want to come here, just hang out with your friends again. This is a really cool area. It's just a little deserted island. Sometimes there's actually people here, but there's a nice little fire, a little house, and just a cool chill spot where you could explore. So that's it for number five. Now I want to go ahead and throw in two extra just bonus ones here. So there is a place on the map where there's some really cool cliff diving that you could do over here by the lighthouse. So you get on this ledge and you could jump off and it's actually pretty cool. You just swim around, go up the stairs and you could do it again. So it's a pretty big cliff dive and just the nature surrounding this area is really beautiful in the game. And the last bonus one is something I like doing. Obviously not everybody's going to do it, but I like getting the up and atomizer. It's just cool to see all the cars fly up in the air. You could also shoot it at helicopters and they kind of sway to the side. Sometimes they even crash. Now I didn't want to put this one in the main five because I know it's a super expensive weapon. I believe it's $400,000 and I don't even know if it's actually obtainable in single player without mods. So that's why it's here at the end. But a lot of those futuristic weapons are kind of cool. I wasn't a big fan when they added them to the game, but they are fun to mess around with. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already. I've noticed that there's a ton of you guys that watch my videos that are not subscribed. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And with that said, I'll see you guys in my next video.